Greetings, this is Will of Shile Kuni, and this video is on how to convert an M4A file to MP3 format using iTunes. The screen capture program that I use will allow you to export an audio file from the video that you have captured or that you may be producing or editing at the moment, but the audio only file that you export is an M4A file. Now for me the M4As are not much use. Camtasia used to download or export to MP3 or at least I, I, that's what I remember the earlier versions of Camtasia Studio. But exporting to an M4A file has caused me a little bit of a headache as I, I don't use M4A files very much and I do use the feature of exporting a video to an audio file because I process it in my music and video productions. There are plenty of online sites that will allow you to convert an M4A to an MP3. We can just use iTunes. Most people have iTunes on their on the computer already or on the phone. And why why go through all that when you already have it? Um, so you can you can even convert an MP3 for a file to a wave or AIFF format and this can like I said this really can come in handy as you further process the audio file in programs like Machina, Ableton Live, MPC software, MPC Essentials, Adobe Audition and, and just about any other DAW or sound editing program that at least for the moment, at least right now, do not accept M4A files. You need an MP3 or a WAVE or something, AIFF or something like that. All right, let's get to it. Let's convert an M4A file to an MP3 using iTunes in Windows. iTunes is one of the best and most recognizable choices out there. It's pretty easy to use, like I said, and like I said, it's already, most people already have it. So first, we want to click on Edit. And go down to preferences. Over here you have import settings and you want to click that. Here under import using you have wave encoder but the drop down box allows you to do mp3, apple lossless, AIFF, AAC. And what you want or what we're doing here is changing it to an mp3 encoder. Click the mp3 encoder, click OK, and click OK again. All right. Now what we want to do is convert the file. Once you have applied the import settings, select the M4A file that you wish to convert in your music library and click on the file names. I have this particular song, particular um, file, highlighted and I go to file, go down to convert and go to create MP3 version. The MP3 version is created right below the original version. Okay, you can click that and go get info, and you can see that it is now an MPEG audio file or MP3 file. Also, you can click it and show in Windows Explorer. So now you can see that this is the MP3 file that we have in here and I can click that and send it where I want to to do further processing of that particular audio file. Okay, that's it. Uh, it's pretty easy stuff. It, I think it's better than downloading a new program off the internet or you know doing something on the internet. I just feel like it's easier for you to just use iTunes since most people already have iTunes. I hope this video helped and don't forget to comment below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.